And welcome back to another installment of Secret Graceland, where we explore lesser known facts of our favorite famous home following the tour path. Let's get started. As soon as you enter the front door, there are four square mirrored pillars, two on either side of the wall, holding up vases and plants. These are from the 1974 remodel, and I'm actually surprised that they kept them since they're featured in such a prominent spot. On Elvis's 23rd birthday in 1958, he entertained a young local guest. Eight-year-old Mary Kozlowski was a polio survivor, and she was invited to Graceland where her and Elvis had a photo shoot in the foyer. What's so cool about this, as pointed out by Director of Archives Angie Marchese in a Gates of Graceland episode, is the glimpse of the mural that was on this wall before. It appears to be a Greek or Roman scene with statues. But this wasn't the only mural. Just a few years later, it was switched out for a different scene. So far, the only picture I've seen of it is this one from the early 60s by Fred Hubry. It's a beautiful scene of a mansion on a hill. It wasn't custom, it was actually a standard scene that you could buy at the time, but the resemblance to Graceland is uncanny, and this mural is still there under the wallpaper. Moving into the living room, let's talk about the portrait to your left as you look out into the room. Today, this painting of Elvis holds this space, but in the early 70s, this huge peacock decoration was hanging there. You can see about half of it here in this early 70s picture of Minnie Mae with all of her kids. When Elvis last saw this room, there was one of two velvet scenes here. The other was on the opposite side of the fireplace. It's kind of hard to make out the scene. It looks like it could be trees or pillars, but the interesting thing is that these pictures light up. Beyond the living room, the music room has become more authentic over time, and I'll explain what I mean. In this photo shoot for the commercial appeal in 1965, we can see this gold couch here on the left and blue-gray drapes covering the walls. In the 70s and 80s, the gold couch was kept as part of a display in the trophy building. A couple years ago, Elvis's white piano was brought home to the music room. I took this picture in June of 2020 and I didn't even notice it at the time, but the gold couch and the blue-gray drapes came back too. Let's move down the hall. Though Elvis's Aunt Delta died in 1993, the downstairs bedroom was only added to the tours in 1998. Let's take a look at what it was like in the 70s and 80s. Here is a picture of Grandma, Aunt Delta, and Lisa just inside the door. There is a lot to take in. The floral wallpaper, the carpet squares on the doors. Now let's discuss the bed in this room. It's from the original decorating in 1957, but it's been reupholstered a couple of times. There are really cute pictures of Lisa Marie as a baby, like this one, of her parents admiring her while sitting on the bed, and the red headboard is in the background. Then, when she was a bit older, they took some pictures of her sitting on this bed, which back then had a yellow bedspread. In a Gates of Graceland episode, Angie said the purple is Gladys's actual headboard that was underneath those two layers of upholstery. Just as a fun fact, these pictures of everyone enjoying baby Lisa were taken just inside the door, like that 80s picture we saw earlier. Next on the tour is the dining room. This picture was taken by Memphis photographer William Eggleston in 1984. I was very surprised to see this huge planter box underneath Priscilla and Lisa's picture. I'm sure it didn't last long since it was within fans' reach, but I haven't seen it since. In this 1963 candid of the dining room, we can see the retro chandelier. It's hard to see, but it has these metal pieces kind of sticking out of it. That's what was in this spot until 1974 when it was changed out for this more elegant one. They actually bought tons of new lighting at this time, including the chandelier in the foyer and the one above the main stairs. The kitchen was added to the tour in 1995. And though it's had carpet since at least 1974, it's changed a couple times since then. In the 1970s, it was this patchwork quilt style. Then in the 80s, it was replaced by this orangey brown color. Then today, it looks like they're kind of trying to match the original 70s carpet. In 1974, these kitchen lamps were bought from the same store as the three chandeliers in the front of the house, but they are not the same lamps you see today. They both have flowers and fruit stained glass, but they have been swapped out. During part of the 70s, there was a beaded curtain separating the kitchen and the jungle room, seen pulled back in this candid. Let's make our way downstairs to the basement. Originally, the bar area had wood paneling as seen in these early photos instead of the mirrors that were likely added in 1974. Back upstairs to the jungle room. In this still from This Is Elvis, Joe Esposito is actually sitting in Elvis's favorite spot to relax and watch TV. 
Behind Joe is a silver clock. This is the same one that we see on the side table in the living room on the tour today. The huge rectangle in the wall we used to gaze out onto the room wasn't always there. It was added for tours because this used to be a full wall and sometimes they would put the projector against this wall to watch TV. In a Gates of Graceland episode, Angie and Tom Brown open the credenza to reveal a stereo inside. Sometimes this stereo was used to hold up the projector. When we stand here and look directly across, there is this fun mirror with feathers all around the border. This was here during the photo shoot that Linda Thompson did in this room in the mid-70s. In a Graceland documentary from 1984, the ship painting from the basement hallway is in this spot. You might recognize this fan gift on the left wall when you leave the billiard room to go back upstairs. Have you ever wondered why there's different colored phones at Graceland like these? The green was a regular landline, but the red was a household intercom system. Now let's talk about the upstairs, shall we? At the beginning of this video, we talked about the mural downstairs, but there's another one in the upstairs hallway. In a Gates of Graceland episode, Angie says it's still there. It's kind of hard to see in this still from This Is Elvis, but it appears to be a beach scene with palm trees. In my video decorating Graceland, we talked about a receipt from 1957 where Elvis bought a black sphinx for his bedroom. In this 1970s picture from Jeannie LeMay's book Elvis, Linda, and Me, there is a black ceramic sphinx on the floor. Could be the same one. Now on to Elvis's office. His desk is currently on display in the Trophy Building and was a gift from RCA for the sales of the Blue Hawaii soundtrack. About 15 years ago, there was an awesome display of Elvis's office in the annex that was included with the tour before it became the VIP area. The seashell encrusted lamp has a matching mirror that is still upstairs in Elvis's office. The organ we see here is actually from an LA house, but it has an identical, which is also upstairs in the office. Something I didn't notice at the time are these leather patchwork drapes that aren't just decoration, but Elvis's actual drapes from upstairs. And that is it. To see the pictures I used in this video, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in the description box below. I will be sharing all of these pictures on there. If you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it wherever there are Elvis fans. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.